Lotar the Suffering. Uh... <laughs> I didn't think this through. What is that? Minor head injury? Oh, I'm not getting out of this. I'm dazed. I'm in pain. He's a hard hitter. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. All right. Oh, man. Look at all this stuff I got to. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. We are continuing with Stone Shard. Uh, when we last left, um, I think I had mistakenly, absentmindedly, um, taken this quest. All right, the Elder of Osbrook passed me the contract from the merchant who was robbed by the bandits residing in the outpost Inver. The merchant had an alchemy kit with him, and it's on me to find and return it. Head to the outpost Inver. Whew, okay. And there's only three days left, and I'm... Oh, man, I feel like the last time I was playing this, there was four days left. This was a couple days ago. I don't know how long it takes to traverse these tiles. Um, and what I initially wanted to do was do some hunting in the surrounding area. Uh, and, you know, see what else is out there. Maybe there's a couple of lone bandits we could attack or whatever. Um, but I don't know that there's going to be time. And while this could be really ill-advised... <laughs> It's been a while. Okay, so I think I think we're just gonna do it. I think we're gonna do it. We've got food. We've got alcohol. We've got healing stuff. We've got an axe. We've got a dagger. What's the key to switch? Loadout, W. We've got a bow. We've got arrows. Yeah. We're a little... Thirsty and a little hungry, but look, we can eat that. Now we're not that hungry. There's gonna be stuff to find out there to eat. We'll eat all these. Here you go. Get a little less hungry and a little less thirsty. Our, we'll fill our water skin on the way out. And yeah, what uh, what do we know? What time it is? Did I figure that out yet? Hmm. No. I mean, I guess it's got to be morning. I hope. We'll see. Uh, all right, here's the, we'll drink again, we'll fill the water skin, and we're going out to the left. God damn, every time I log back in to play this game, I'm just like, I love, I love the creative direction of this game. I swear to God. These little bouncy characters in this, like, very nicely fleshed out pixel graphics, just fantastic. Uh, Agrimony. Yeah, we'll just pick up everything for now. I don't really remember much of anything about this game. So, uh, takes away hunger, increases intoxication by a lot. Right, it's like a poisonous mushroom that helps with pain resistance. I guess we trip on that mushroom. Here's a person. Let's talk to them. Show me your wares. You've got literally nothing. Uh, how about a chat? These dark times. I've seen plenty of misfortune in my life, but this. I don't remember anything like this. We must have committed some grievous sin to deserve all this mystery. What are you looking at? <laughs> what are you, yeah, exactly. All right. Oh, man. Okay. I am a bit concerned about <laughs> what we're about to do, but hey, throw caution to the wind. Oh, I mean, who knows? Maybe we'll make it through this. Maybe we'll make it through... <laughs> <laughs> Let's we'll see. Uh, got any? Got work to do. No time to talk. What are you selling? Oh, you're selling plenty of food, but it's all big, giant, one-use food. All right. Well, I guess that makes sense. You are a miller, right? All right. Here we go. I think we're now into new territory. Yeah. Okay. No, we we are. We're clear. We're opening this up a bit. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, oops. way that kind of reveals. I don't remember how this worked before. But, alright, from this point forward, we're pretty much... Oh, we're into uncharted territory. Uh, we're gonna be out... Uh, I don't know if I want to mess with Death Cap. It's probably not good for you. There's something that's probably good. Chantrell. That's gotta be food, right? You can go take the things I said to take. 
Uh, am I full? What is happening? Yeah, all right. That was weird. We're going to be out exploring. I'm going to pick up everything I see at this point. Just see what everything's like. Probably mostly stick to the road, at least until we get close to the thing, until I get a sense of how long at least a day is. How, how long does it take to traverse one of these tiles? Okay, not at all. Not hardly long at uh. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it takes a little bit of time. What do we got? Blueberries? Huh, blueberries. Awesome. Huh. I wonder if there's any kind of alchemy in this game. Uh-oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, let's switch to ranged. Oh, shit. Miss. Nice, good whiff. Even better. Much nicer, thank you. One more. Switch. Attack. Uh-oh. Okay, no, this is fine. Alright, I've, I'm dual wielding, so I'm hitting him for two, which is nice, but he is... Man! He's got 44% health. I've got just a little bit more than him. Woo! Okay. Man. Thank you. Okay. Not bad. Let's take a hot second and just rest. Get our health back. Alright, so we're getting our answer, that's for sure. This is going to be difficult. <laughs> All right, that's what we're here for, though. All right, I'm going to imagine that this road turns up this way. We'll stick with the road. We're also not turning back. Uh, I still have really no sense of what kind of time is passing. I feel like it might be the middle of the day. Let's grab this flea wart. All right, we are hungry. We've got so many things. Let's uh, let's see if this... Does it matter eating these things? What are we? I'm not checking what they do. Bleed resistance, and it takes down thirst. Well, if they're taking up my inventory space, I may as well. Let's see what this does. Oh, it raises my morale. I like that. What does this do? It takes away hunger. Yeah, we're just out here eating berries. Hunger resistance? Nice. What does this stuff do? Bad things. This makes me thirsty. And intoxicates me. We'll probably end up dropping these things if we walk into a uh, dungeon. But health replenishment, health efficiency, flea wart. Hmm, that's interesting. Bleed resistance. At some point I will see a left path. Yes, there we go. A westward path. We'll grab this flea wart. That was interesting. That might become useful. Didn't take up too much room. All right. No, we still got a ways to go. These are not. These are these. Are, these tiles are. <laughs> yeah, my goodness. Oh, maybe we should have gone up. This is angling down. All right. Let's do it. Here, we'll cut through. We'll cut through the forest. How dangerous is that going to be? Ferry, probably. We'll see what happens. Literally. We're out for adventure. It's the whole point. Yeah, we probably don't need to cut back to the road. Famous last words. Man, I will tell you, I would really like to see the stuff you've, at least the stuff you've already seen, just be grayed out down here rather than these like UI level bars. Uh, keep eating our berries that give us high morale. Because I'm sure we are. Yeah, we're a little bit hungry. Alright. So there's a path in the middle of this road that'll lead west. And we'll hop on that path. There's an acorn. Dig it. Chantrell. We will all but certainly be ditching most of this stuff once we find interesting things in the... In the, uh... In the Invern? What was it called? The outpost that we're going to. I think it's called Outpost Invern. Okay, yeah, here we are. Now, I don't want to alert anybody. 
So what I think we'll probably end up doing is I'll walk the per when we find wherever this thing is, it should be here somewhere. Uh, I'll walk the perimeter around it. I'm wondering if it's going to be on the next tile. Uh, please don't drop me right into death. <sighs> what is that? Pine cone? Let's see what a pine cone does. I, am I full? I'm oh, full. Hunger. Eat. What does this do? Just a dried pine cone. <laughs> I like it. Alright, somewhere on this map is... Oh, there it is. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're gonna go all the way around the perimeter and try to get a look in here without alerting these guys. All right, so far I haven't seen inside, but I also don't hear see any question marks, so I don't think I've alerted them yet. But we're getting a look at what it looks like in there. I have ranged, but it's not great, even though I have the ranged ability. Oh boy, man, I just, I absolutely adore the art in this game. So amazing. All right. There's one guy, definitely. Oh shit. Okay, well let's get him out into this little thing here. W, switch, hit him with a arrow, hit him with an arrow, maybe, someday, nope. Switch back, let him get over here. Fire him. And he attacked but missed. We both fumbled. Hmm. All right, I'm hitting him nicely. I like this two-handed, although I'm really taking some beatings here. Uh, let's take all. All right, one down. Let's take a minute to rest while we can, in case there's more guys in there that I didn't aggro coming through here. All right, beautiful. We'll step in. All right, no one's in here so far. All right, good. Let's see, what do we got? Uh, cart. Search the cart. Whole heap and helping and nothing. Just a bunch of junk. A giant shirt that takes up a lot of room and isn't worth much. Oh boy, okay, here we go. We're going in, we're doing it. This could be crazy. This could be a really dumb and terrible thing. But, kill the brigand leader and find the alchemy kit. Oh, we're gonna do that, all right. Oh boy. Oh man, you are terrible at shooting. Alright, I think they're lined up in the doorway, so they both couldn't attack me at once. That was great. What was that? Enforcer attacks hitting the targets right away. Derwin loses 21 health. Man, he really hit me good. Can I do anything to you? Take a hot second. <laughs> oh my god. I would love to stop whiffing my arrow shots. Alright, here we go. Again. Let's see. Man. What? That was a that was a long lunge. Impaling lunge. Certainly was, my friend. Oh, I'm impaling. Oh, I should have healed myself while I sat. What is this? Second wind. Nice. Fortitude, energy, restoration, health efficiency. Health and energy have been replenished. All negative physical and mental effects are temporarily negated. Awesome. Very cool. Uh, once again, we just literally like lean a hand against the wall. <laughs> You're just like, oh boy, that took a lot out of me. Oh boy. And there we go. Get ready with our... <sighs> Dude, you're terrible. I wonder if there's like... I should take a look if there's like something I can do to... Alright. Thank you, nice. 
nice. Very nice. That was much better. Uh, once again, we will rest. Poor Derwin. Completely unprepared for this. There we go. Hey. Switch. Thank you. No. What are you doing? Ranged. Thank you. Oh, he's ranged too. That's not good. Blowing through every arrow that's ever... Look at this hilariousness. I am... Are you even kidding with me? Look at the two of us. This is freaking funny. Got one hit on him. Two hits. Three hits. Look at this room littered with arrows. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, what is that, a cudgel? I didn't check the cudgel, did I? We'll cut back in here. But, uh, interestingly, these guys left the room. Don't know why. Here we go. Oh my god, man. This ridiculousness with him. Oops. Now I'm gonna get hit. Yay, thank you. <laughs> what is that? Same thing. Spiked club. We already got one. Let's grab some of my arrows. Use this opportunity. Oh, he's giving up. Alright, well. Wait, was he giving up? What the hell, man? Alright, whatever. Whoa! Wow! Okay. Jeez. Derwin says die. Poacher dies. My goodness. Let's close that door for now. <laughs> Peasant bow. Oh, what is this? A leather quiver. I cannot equip it. Oh, requires an equipped bow. Open. There we go. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Store twice as many arrows now. I love it. How are we doing here? We've been better. Uh, how much pain are we in? Not that much. Our morale's dropping a slight bit. I'd love to, to heal some of that stuff. Health restoration. Injury treatment. Let's try it. I don't want to get, like, a broken leg without having a splint. How are we doing with intoxication? Still good. This doesn't cause intoxication, does it? No. Check the room. See if there's anything in it. So far, nothing. Wow, really, a whole lot of nothing. Peasant bow. What is that? A potato? <laughs> it lowers my morale. <laughs> Character doesn't like potatoes. I like it. Uh, Alright, we've looked at everything in there. Head into... Open the door. Why does he keep not doing things? Uh-oh. Give us the coin. Ugh, oh, dude. Thank you. Nice. Homemade sword. Let's take a look at that. Crappy. Very crappy. Well, it's the start of Derwin's adventure. I'm sure that he will be finding a great many... How much does this weigh? Or I guess it's just space. There's no weight. Oops. It's just the space that it takes up. But yeah, Derwin, I'm sure, will be finding uh, a great many... Oh. Arms and armor. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, man, you are just terrible. All right. Oh, look at all that. Love it. Uh, we're going to step in and come get this guy. He's going to keep stepping away from us, isn't he? We don't want him going range on us, but man. Okay, cool. Jeez. Alright, well, we found some good stuff. We got a pear. A cudgel again. 
and a copper chain and crown. Uh, oh, awesome. Yes, fantastic. I love it. Hunger, thirst, energy, immunity. Well, we'll keep going. So, what? What? Lamellar quilted coat. Coat. Uh, physical resistance is better. The bleed resistance, it's, it's damaged, but it's better across the board. It's lowering my dodge chance, which is a bummer. But I'm going to take it. I'm going to wear it. We'll hold on to ours. For now. This lock won't stop me. Oh, is that a trap? I guess it was already set off. Uh, we'll go left first. So far, so good. All right. Cupboard, nothing. Cupboard. What do we got? Intoxication change, intoxication resistance. We'll take it. Uh, I want to sell that. I don't know how valuable stuff gets after this. This is really... Like, when I did the... Ooh, nice! Yeah, we're gonna read that. Uh, we just learned a bunch of stuff. They flash too quick. I'll check them out when we get a point. Um, this was a shield treatise. If there's something for our commanders to learn from Nistrians, it's how to employ the shield wall attacks with the same efficacy. Our army mostly relies on heavy cavalry and archers. The Nistrian army, on the other hand, is built around heavy inf infantry equipped with tower shields. They are usually deployed in square formation so that their shields protect not only the first row, but also the archers standing behind them. This makes the Nistrian army almost impervious to the disorganized enemy, to a disorganized enemy. Their soldiers can safely dis deliver strikes from the cover of their shields without endangering themselves or worrying about getting flanked. Fjall dwarves can only bite their axe handles in frustration, powerless against orderly lines bristling with steel. Once again, factor in the masterful, masterful support of their light cavalry and horse archers, which deliver lightning-fast attacks at enemy flanks, it becomes abundantly clear why Nistrians rarely return home without a victory. Aldorian commanders usually attempt to weaken Nistrians with sustained volleys from long blows before sending in a caval cal cavalry wedge to break their formations. However, this brash tactic, tactic is very risky and often leads to casualties or even defeat, and that's why I suggest abandoning needless pride and actually learning from our sworn enemy's success. All right. We will take that because it's got to be, is it worth money? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, not read again. Um, all right, that's fantastic. Uh, gambling dice. The item may interest some merchants. I wonder if there's mini games in this. There can't be. There absolutely could not be. If they literally are putting in, like, dice games in taverns. Ooh, I thought I think I saw somebody. Yeah, there's two people. All right. Uh, let's see if I can get off a hit. Of course I can't. I got one. I'll switch back. He jumps over. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, we hit him. All right, great. Man, it's so tough to tell. Sometimes I feel like they're hitting me. All right, that was fantastic. We'll switch again. I hit nothing. Switch back. Damn it, I didn't switch back in time. Oh, we're taking some decent hits. Have mercy. No, we're going to chase him down. All right. Very cool. Battle Cleaver. Uh, 19 slashing damage. Body part damage. It has a high fumble chance, which I hate. Uh, I can't mess with that. <laughs> I can't mess with fumble chance. Uh, in the first video I mentioned, it's probably the one stat that I most pay attention to is... Uh, Hating seeing the, the character just like whiff blows all over the place, swinging wildly and nothing's connecting. All right, well, that was a good good couple of rooms. Even the walk back is going to help us out. Oh, I get it. It's probably failed. We'll let him step in. 
Oh, you know what I haven't been using? My freaking special attack with my X. How stupid am I? Alright. Enforcer uses Faint Swing. Is no longer affected by Stagger. This is fine. Let's see where he's at. He's at 20% health, and he's got a broken leg. This is good. Very nice. Okay, can we rest real quick? There was another guy in here, but I'd like to get back to at least my 77 health. Enforcer says, I know. Uh, and Derwin rests. <laughs> All right, 80. Good enough. Let's take this War Scythe. Did I already know? I already. I think I already know that I don't care about what this... Can I hover and see anything about it? I can't. Man, I freaking love this game. I swear to God. Oh, awesome. Oh. I am absolutely like... I, I think I mentioned in the last game, the, the last episode, the, you know, devs get some flack for taking a long time. I have no idea how big the team is, but, you know, just keep at it. <laughs> However long it takes, it's fine. Because I am enjoying it. All right, that was the biggest mistake I ever made, and there, there it was. Two. Who is this? Another enforcer. Ugh. Nice, thank you. Ooh, lumberjack axe. Please don't be a two-handed axe. How are we doing? Drop a rest real quick. Everyone's just in over his head. He's completely in over his head. <laughs> just like getting, get through every like one half measure. That's a 200 X. Uh, let's see what it does. We'll drop mine real quick and just take a look at this. 25 slashing armor penetration. Oh my God, the most massive fumble chance. No way. No way. <laughs> Need a repair kit. How long does it take for these to break and wear down? Is there also like lanterns? Another, another one of these guys. Like in these dark rooms. Can I eventually get a lantern of some kind? Can I hit you from there? Let's uh, step to there. Jesus. Missed. Missed. Step back so that I don't get beat up by double people. Alright, it doesn't look that great in here. <laughs> uh oh. Step back. Okay, one's down. How am I doing? Not great. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Who is this? Lotar the Suffering. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think this through. I really didn't think this through. Alright, well, we're in here. I got nine turns till I can have that back. Oh my god. Energy. Energy, resistances. Oh man, this ain't great. All right, step in, Lothar. What is that, minor head injury? Oh, I'm not getting out of this. I won't be getting away out of this at all. I'm dazed, I'm in pain. He's a hard hitter. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. All right. Oh man, look at all this stuff I got to <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, well, that didn't work out uh, very well for us. <laughs> uh, how do I get out of attack mode? We were accidentally in attack mode. There we go. All right, Derwin is thirsty. Let me just see. Sleep at 7 in the morning. That's the only way I get to know what time it is. Oh, okay. So, we did not make it to the outpost. Um, I think uh, one of the things we're going to have to do is... Um, uh, 
Oh. We are going to have to pick up um, some of these jobs. I'm pretty sure these guys, I think these guys have uh, jobs. Yeah, okay. Do you have any work for me? Here's the deal. Odar ordered me to forge a bunch of new swords for our guards. However, can't bring myself to waste good iron on them. They don't even dare to step outside this village. What the hell do they need good swords for? So that's what I have in mind. Bring me some junk swords, I'll fix them up and put them to good use. Cleavers and falchions will work best. Three of them should be enough. I'll pay you much more for that crap than you usually get. Deal. Uh, yeah. We don't have much time to blow, I really don't think. Oh. I feel like... Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't... I don't get to keep any of the knowledge that I learned outside of me knowing it in my head. Um, what we might have to do is go clear out that dungeon until we get to the the main bad guy, come back, turn everything in, and hope for the best. Um, that guy wants falchions and cleavers. We will for sure find them in there. Um... And if we fail our quest, uh, we fail. I don't know. I don't know what happens, but we're going to see what happens. Um, I was contemplating uh, trying a permadeath run. Uh, actually paused this uh, to give it a, a whirl. Uh, but I clearly need to learn more about this uh, game and its mechanics before I can do that in any way competently that wouldn't just come off as Groundhog Day, just reloading the same five-minute experience over and over again, dying right outside of town. Um, so we're gonna try to get through this, but I mean, we're kind of in a bad spot, uh, because we didn't go hunting first. We didn't do any of this. We could have done all these jobs first and like stacked some skills and stuff, but we'll see what happens. Um, I got three days to complete this job. You know, it is what it is. We'll see what, we'll see, we'll see what we can do. Hopefully going to the outpost, clearing the outpost, um, up until the main bad guy and hightailing it back here, uh, unloading our, our goods and gearing up a little better might be might put us in a good condition. So, all right, we're talking to the tailor. His name is Hold. And who the hell are you? Ah, another mercenary. Well, isn't this a surprise? Anyway, I hope you'll manage to survive a bit longer than our last hero. What do you want from me? Do you have any work for me? What do you think you can even help me with, kid? Although, yes, I may have a task for you. Have you ever hunted a bear? Uh, I'm asking because I need a bear pelt. The damn oaf visiting our village decided that his cloak has to be lined exclusively with bear fur. What are we even supposed to do? We're a small people. When ordered, we bow and promise to do as we're told. Do it how? Now that's an entirely different matter. I'll pay through the nose for that, belt, that pelt. I'm also eager to see how you'll manage. Maybe you aren't that bad after all, so what do you say? Uh, I guess deal. <laughs> I'm not taking on a bear, but if I can run across a bear pelt. Uh, what happened to the last mercenary? Do I look like a person who cares about some cutthroats? Go ask Odar. He's the one who deals with your kind. All I know is that every other month, yet another armed bloke barges into Arthbrook. He spends the day or two parading around the village, rattles his armor, chases chickens, and pockets everything that isn't nailed down. Then, perhaps he feels some pangs of consciousness and decides to pick up a contract. A couple of days pass and our brave guards have to scrape his guts from the branches outside the village. <laughs> oh, our guards sure enjoy it. They do it masterfully. Do it much better than, say, their job, so they wouldn't have to hire some rabble. Uh, yeah, we basically are some rabble, so whatever you say, old man. Live to my age first before opening your mouth. Once you're 60, then we'll talk. Oh, you'll all see. I'll outlive each and every one of you. I'll, I'll dance on your graves yet. I like this guy. Can I? Can you come with us? Uh, what kind of goods are you looking for? Yeah, he wants pelts. Tell me about the village. How about a chat? Take care. All right, we're going to try, unfortunately, not to waste too much time. Uh, we picked up, yeah, we picked up the, um, 
I say unfortunately because uh, I would like to explore with these these guys, and I don't know how much I've, I have already done. I don't think no, I didn't talk to any of these guys yet. I don't think so. Um, and by the time I come back, I'm sure I will have forgotten <laughs> what I have said to them already. Uh, you have any work for me? Frid. My back is killing me. If I don't do anything about it now, in a couple of days, I won't even be able to get up from bed. And I still have work to do. Help an old man out. Go to the forest and pick some fresh herbs. The dried stuff I have here won't do. And so here's what I need for the ointment. A tuft of spearmint, a tuft of thyme, a tuft of flea wart, and a couple of leaves of agrimony. Got it? If you bring it all to me, I'll share some of my supplies with you. Deal. Did you try applying flea wart? Uh, heard anything interesting? I know some rumors that might be useful to you. I expect to be compensated. Hmm. I'm not paying for a simple chat. Suit yourself. All right. Uh, let's go see the carpenter, who hopefully is awake. Friend says, do you hurt anywhere? All right, are you the carpenter? Yes. Hello, hello. Are you one of those mercs the entire village has been bustling about all day? All day is first thing in the morning. Good to have you here. Maybe you'll bring some order at last. Waiting for Odar to do some... Uh, yeah. Waiting for Odar to do something about this is a waste of time. Doesn't the village have guards to maintain said order? Who do you call guards? It's either geezers or yesterday's youngsters who had weapons handed to them. Now they are to serve and protect, so to speak. Each of them is still wet behind the ears, or even worse, way too, is way too long in the tooth. I'm telling you, they'll all be slaughtered come the real fight. Something that Odar doesn't care about. Eh, we used to have more than enough lads in Osbrook. Now they're either dead in the ground or serve under someone else's banners. We barely have any able-bodied men left in the village. Right now it's just me, the smith, and a couple more lads. Uh, I see you're not fond of the Elder. Why would I be fond of that tyrant? Why do you think he even became an Elder? Just to sit in his attic. Never take a step outside, not a care in the world. He spends in his, his entire day at the desk, scribbling who knows what. Just imagine working outdoors, be it heat or rain, while he's scrawling his doodles, making himself look important, all puffed up like a toad. He eats and drinks for three men. So I've been telling folks to open their eyes to what kind of elder he is. A mooch who lives at our expense. Wouldn't be too bad if he were one of us, a local. But no, he's an outsider, a stranger. Odar isn't a local? Where's he from? Ah, hell if I know. He doesn't speak much about it, that bastard. He has a northern accent, so he might be from Eaters. Uh, it seems like he has a friend in the Magistrate, and that's how he got himself a cozy spot as an elder. Now he lives off us, and there's no getting rid of him without angering his patrons. Not to mention how vindictive he is. The moment he doesn't, something doesn't go his way, he makes one's life a living hell. We used to have this lad, Dwar was his name. Thought it was a good idea to talk back to Odar. Well, guess where he is now? But I never told you this. Deal? So I have to suck up to Odar unless I want to be the next one to be dealt with. And I still want to live. You should stay away from him as well. If you know what's good for you. I'm sure he puts half the reward in his own pocket, only paying you mercs, the host willing, half of what you're owed. What happened at Dwar? What Dwar? I'm telling you, you didn't hear anything from me. Must be imagining things. Interesting. Uh, what goods are you looking for? Yeah, can't figure that out on your own. What does a carpenter need? Timber, of course. I'll also take wooden weaponry and the like, but only at a low price. Not much use for it other than his candle. All right, whatever. Heard anything interesting? Uh, okay, yeah, I thought I read this. Odar, our village elder, is a petty tyrant. Stay on your toes when dealing with him. Otherwise, you'll end up just like those other mercenaries. He sure enjoys pulling his chestnuts out of the fire. Uh, take care. All right. Oh, agrimony. We need that. What do we got? Oh, time. We'll take time. I'm pretty sure this guy has a job, too. Talk. You have any work for me? Uh, listen, I have a task. Do you do you think I I like what my life has come to? No, I despise it. I lost everything because of his highness. It's haunting me, so I can't put it into words. The swivel. Uh, I need something stronger to forget. You, help a lonely fellow, feeble veteran of three war campaigns. Brandy, a bottle, a cup, a sip. Bring it to me, all right? Deal. We're gonna go. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start heading over there because you know we only got three days, 
and I think it's going to be a day to get there, battle through half the dungeon, come back, drop off stuff, make some money, get some gear, head back, and maybe just squeak this out in enough time to not lose the contract and see what happens. <laughs> but I think that's our best bet at this point. Because I'm definitely going to just lose if... Did we need Spearmint? Was that one of them? Yeah, Spearmint. Awesome. So now we need Flea Wart. If we find Flea Wart, we're going to go right back to him. Because it's the last thing we need. Bog Bean. Rhubarb. Yes, awesome. Awesome. Alright. Awesome, and right next to the edge of the map. Good. Yeah, I was futzing around with this in permadeath mode to see uh, how out of my league I would be, <laughs> which was completely. Um, and man, I don't know if this is procedurally generated or I was just going the wrong way. What a dog. Can I pet it? No. Can I have it? Okay, devs, pet the dog. That should give me a morale boost. You should be able to pet the dog and get a tiny, tiny morale boost. We actually will stop here first. Yeah. God damn, this game's gorgeous. What are you yelling at, lady? I just gathered some fresh herbs. Interested? Well, friend, I just gathered your herbs. All right. Uh, healing salve and some leeches, which lower my morale. Uh, but, um, yeah. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, okay. Let's try to head over to that... Um, let's head over to the... Outpost. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is not. I gotta get right to that outpost, clear it, and come back. That's the best plan. Because I'm not. I could. I could wander in here and not find a dang thing for weeks. Um. Oh my God. What? Oh, you bastard. Man, that's the first animal I've seen. All right. Whatever. Can't fuck with it. We're gonna keep going north. Nice and slow. I don't wanna bounce into any bandits. But yeah, I could wander around all these tiles and not find anything. Um, so I think going to the outpost is the best thing to do. I really gotta get some better gear quick. And that'll really help with this, is, is starting, you know, setting out uh, onto the adventure with something better than just cloth. Um, because, yeah, you know, you're like, you get ganged up on like by three bandits and you're just literally by yourself. They can surround you in a second. Um, can be a little frustrating or overwhelming, I suppose. All right, cool. Found the outpost. We're going to go around the same. Go around the perimeter. Just try to clear out everything. All right. We got one guy. And he is already aggroed. Stepped in a little too hot. I wanted to surprise him, but... We can... Hopefully get him... Whacked before he gets to us. Pretty good. Nice. Beautiful. And, uh, yeah. Let's... Ooh, let's go for it. Oh, man. Nerve-wracking. Okay. Step into here. Switch back to this. Take aim. Shoot. Take aim. Shoot. What is this actually called? Take aim. Awesome. Uh, we'll hit him with one more. He's dead. That's beautiful. We'll switch weapons. Use our mutilating lunge. Attack. Weeding like a pig. 
faint swing on Derwin. And he's the one getting hurt. Derwin loses 20 health. Man, he hits hard, huh? Everybody hits hard all the time. Derwin fumbles. Enforcer loses 9 health. Can the Enforcer die? Alright, he's bleeding. He's got a minor torso injury. He's got 7% health. Alright. Alright, a War Scythe. Uh, let us see. The Smith's request. Taylor wants a bear pellet, bottle of brandy, which hopefully we'll find. Falchions and cleavers. Spike club is not a falchion. Uh, and a war scythe is also not a falchion. We're going to drop that because it's too big. We'll hold on to the club for now. Oh, boy. Okay, let's step here so no one can step in. I should have switched my weapon first. You take aim, we'll shoot. Take aim, shoot. Take aim again, shoot, and he's dead. Okay, this is going much better. Yeah, we don't need the peasant pitchfork, we already know that. Uh, let's keep our wet our bow drawn. So yeah, for sure, the last time we just came through here, whoops. Uh, we did not use taking aim, so we were just yeah, we were whiffing our shots terribly the entire time, and it was terrible. Nice. So now... Man, we're not going to find any falchions, are we? No, we don't need a broken one. Shit. Switch back. Are you going to shoot through that thing? Come on, man. Uh, w, bam, gotcha, love it. What do you got, a peasant bow and a reinforced club? Somebody is coming to the door. All right, that guy is running back and forth up there. I don't know if he's gonna come and open the door, but we will take the opportunity to find a bunch of stuff, which is great. Everybody's getting all all up in a huff over all the noise we're making. <laughs> uh, cooked carp. Strange thing to find. And there's nothing in this room. Okay. Uh, oh, man. I don't want to open this door. Yeah, they can't get through. Damn it! That's a bummer. I can't believe I missed. Alright, I do not love seeing... Derwin hits the target left arm but fumbles. Why am I fumbling so much? I have a negative fumble chance. I shouldn't be fumbling that much. Quit it. There we go. Whoops. Uh... Perfect. Very nice. Man, they're hitting me good. Alright, we will definitely... Cleaver, yay! Let's close this door. And let's... Uh... You can't rest in beds, right? We'll rest. Open. Alright, let's not forget the cleaver. Oops. Oh, nice. What is this? Oh, nice. I wonder if um, that'll actually be worth anything when I try to sell it. I'm sure they're going to buy it for like 10 bucks. <laughs> oh, very cool. At this point, I don't even remember what I got in the playthrough that probably just preceded this. Uh, all right. Did not get my stuff ready, which I should have. 
that's okay. Oh shit. Wow. Okay. Let's step back one. Take aim. Shoot him. Nice. Take aim again. Shoot him. He's taking aim. Looks like he didn't hit me though. Nice. Oh shit. Doesn't matter. Got him. Ooh, nice. Padded leather vest does five protection, five physical resistance, ten bleed resistance, and uh, five dodge chance. Doesn't reduce my fumble chance, and I've been fumbling like a master. Oh man, no bear pelt, huh? All right. Anybody in here? Yes, there is. Uh, let's see if we can wait him out. Will you come over here? No. There you are. Come over here. Come on, you bastard. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Didn't think I'd hit him from this angle. Didn't hit him there. Switch. Get out my mutilated lunge. Whack him again. Man. Nice. Battle cleaver. Awesome. Damn it. Yes, definitely. We'll toss that. Uh, let's rest until this guy decides to walk up here, and he didn't decide to walk up here. We'll rest to 99. Yeah, we'll rest to 100. There we go. A little too long, because I am thirsty. Let's uh, switch back to our bow. Step up. Take aim. Take aim. Take aim. Got him. Alright, what's in here? Let's get our arrows back. Alright, there's nothing in this room. But we got plenty of bookcases to go through. Why did you stop? Where did he spot the hidden pressure plate? Oh, there it is. Disarm. He's fucked. Ah. It blows up in my face. The room fills with terribleness. <laughs> You're wasting my water. I'm gonna come back dying of thirst. Oh shit. That's a rich guy. What are you even thinking? Why did I just step forward like that? Oh, I used the wrong one. Well, that was dumb of me. I'm taking a beating. Very nice. Man, okay, let's immediately rest. And I broke my arm. Uh, I think we need to stabilize before we can. We do the splint first, then the healing salve, yeah. It's stabilized and it's fine. It doesn't need a salve. Is this the one? That's an E. I don't need that. It's fine. We're not bleeding. Uh, let's apply the leeches. Oh, there's a bandage. Uh, this thing we already looked at. It's a two-handed weapon. We don't want it. Wow, another one of these. Uh, let's drop this. We'll take that. Mystery. Unidentified potion. Alright, I don't want to open that door yet, because I think that's where we died last time. We'll go open this door. Uh-oh. Can 
Can you... Whoops. Can you step into the way? What are you doing? Of course. Jeez Louise. Alright, he misses. Hit me with six. That's fine. We'll hit you with that. Enforcer is bleeding. Love it. And you're fumbling away. I surrender. Not so fast, pal. Oh, War Scythe. No, we want Falchions. And what? And Cleavers. Falchions and Cleavers, which that is not. Spearmint would lower my intoxication. How are we doing on intoxication? Yeah, we're fine. I don't need it. Do I dare open this door? Oh, Let's walk up to it and see how crazy it looks out there. What's the way out of here? We all only move one turn per turn, right? One step per turn. So I, in theory, could run right out of here. I could open this door. Shit. Close the door. And that's way too many dudes to deal with. <laughs> of course I'm thirsty. Why are they moving faster than me? Stop it. Utterly hating that they're moving a little bit faster than me. <laughs> oh wait, did I? No, I got nothing. Can't kill what isn't here. Yes. Please don't follow me outside. Wow, they did not. All right. We'll take the peasant pitchfork. We will head for the road. Uh, we can put the falchions and cleavers in our uh, chest in the room that I am currently occupying. Um, and go back and collect more. Oh boy. <laughs> so it's been one day. We've got two more days to get this done. Please don't run into bandits. Please don't run into bandits. Please don't run into bandits. Although I could, I would love to see an animal. I'd be totally happy seeing any animal. Not a bear. Not a bear. But we did get some pelts, which is good. Um, we can hide, we can stash some of our gear um, in the inn. Uh, some of the things we gotta turn in. This game needs the same thing that Kenshi has, speed up time. Just three times speed. Also, seriously, devs, pet the dog, gain a morale boost, please. Make this happen. Also, if I can't have followers, can I have a hunting dog? Can I at least have a, like a, just a hound to follow me around? Okay. Uh, I think that's a good spot uh, to call it. Uh, we can pick this up next time. Next time I will, um, we'll see what we can get with what we are able to sell. Uh, you know, maybe we can pick up some better weapons or equipment or, you know, maybe just some, some stuff that will buff us up a little to go face Lotar, or maybe some traps, something. There's gotta be something that'll help us out, but we can figure that out next time on Stone Shard. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for uh, stuff like this, Stone Shard, doing War Tales, Kenshi, Outward, uh, all those games that are uh, incredibly stressful. <laughs> 
for me to play uh, when we're working through them on this channel. So we'll see you next time on Stone Shard.